how to start drop shipping in 2024 seven figures every single year a business that has completely changed my life a free course all about drop shipping i made 32,000 over $39,000 $4,000 is drop shipping finally dead clicked on this video it means you want to step into the world of drop shipping and if you're a beginner like I once was two years ago I know you have a lot of questions I mean I get it you see all these people making money online and you're thinking to yourself what about me can't I do it but where do I start and then you overthink and you say it's too much and you walk away it's okay let me help you. I was once that person watching that video right now, trying to make it work, trying to make it happen. But now I run an online store that makes multiple sales every single day. And it's not meant to be a flex at all. I'm just telling you that it's possible. So let me show you what I learned. Congrats, you're actually already doing this by watching this video. But even after watching me, I still want you to go out and learn about dropshipping. Because before you take any action, you need to know how it works. Dropshipping is simply being the middleman. You find the product that people want to buy, you get a supplier to ship this product directly to the customer, and you keep what's left of the profit without ever seeing the actual product. Here's an example. You decide to sell this backcracker that was actually popping off in like 2021 or something like that. You find the supplier that can make and ship the backcracker for $15. You then sell this backcracker for $35 on your online store. So if we do some simple math, every time you sell one of these backcrackers, you keep a profit of around $20. I say around $20 because there are other factors that kind of cut into your profit, but we will get into that. Now that you know how dropshipping works, it's time to figure out what to sell. I mean, it's easy to find a product to sell. I mean, the sites that I'm going to show you literally have endless products that you could choose from. But the challenge is actually finding a product that people will actually buy. And that's called a winning product. Well, how do you know if a product is a winning one? Don't overthink it. It just needs four things. It's pretty simple. In order for someone to go out of their way to buy something, it needs to appeal to them. So if the product is useful or it makes the person say like, wow, or something, the probability of them buying the product is a lot higher. An example is actually a product that's right behind me, the sunset lamp. You see this like orange, over here, that's what it does. And to me, and maybe for you, it's like a it's like a wow. God, I wish I was selling these in its prime because these things were popping off back then, making people tons of money. Like, and so the sunset lamp performs so well because of its wow factor. I mean, like, look, look how it transforms a room. Like it just completely <laughs> Like I, I got one, like that's how cool it was. And you need to find a product that makes them feel the same way. Like um, cat pillows exist, but uh, it doesn't, at least to me, it doesn't really make me go wow, or like, you know, it's, it's useful or anything. It, they're just, they're just there. Something that people actually tend to forget is that when you get the product, you actually have to make content with it. So if you get a product that is hard to create content with, it won't mean anything. You need something that you can have loads of ideas with off the bat so you can start making content immediately. Just like this keychain spinner. All you literally have to do is just spin your keys around with it, put some captions in the middle and boom, you have content. The rule with this one is you actually want something that's worth your time. I mean, it makes sense. Why would you want to sell something that every time someone buys one, you get like a dollar, you know, like that's not even, that's not worth it. Like I'd rather go on the streets and look for a spare change. I'd probably make more money. You need to source a product that can actually put some good money back in your pocket. And my rule is 2X what you're selling it for. For example, if we go back to the backcracker, we were getting the product for $15. So based on that, you want to be selling this product for a minimum 30. And if you could price it a a little higher yeah i mean go for it that's more money for you but always make sure it's actually worth your time the last thing for a winning product is seasonal now this isn't 100 percent needed for a winning product but it definitely helps 100%. Think about the time of year it is right now. Think about the holidays. Think about the season. It's getting colder. Christmas is coming up. So selling something that would relate to Christmas and winter would be golden. I mean, look at this self-heating jacket. It pops up every year, every Christmas, every winter. I'm sick of it, but it works. It works because it's seasonal. It's good for the winter. It's a good Christmas gift and it's useful. That like That's the definition of the winning product. It's a little oversaturated now, so it would be harder to sell it now, but you're making money. Just make sure the other three rules I told you are applied and you will find success. 
So you know what a winning product should have, but where do you actually go looking for one? There are many methods out there for looking for products, but the two that I'm gonna tell you are the best for beginners. But not only are they free, there are actually methods that I prefer to this day. The easiest method to finding a winning product is simply scrolling on social media, whether it be TikTok, Instagram, or even surprisingly, Snapchat. Cause that's actually how I found my latest winning product through Snapchat, which never happened before, but it just shows anything is possible and that it works. But I will say using this method, you're gonna get distracted. Like I know one minute you're trying to find products, the next second you're looking at. So you gotta remember to stay focused. So what you wanna do is go to the search and type in Amazon finds or TikTok made me buy it. This will give you numerous products that you could sell and hopefully you find one in the early stages. Another easy free method is going on the actual supplier site and looking at their list of products. You're not only gonna be able to search products, but you're gonna be able to look through categories for a specific niche, such as technology, clothing, pets, and much more. It's going to be difficult at first finding a product out of the vast amount of products they have, but with the rules I gave you about a winning product, you're gonna be able to dumb down the options. What I recommend doing is scrolling through products and saving ones that could possibly be winners so that when you go back to it, you can choose from there. And if you're wondering what site to search on, here it is. Now that you have found the winning product, it's time to source it. And personally, I have went through a lot of supplier sites, but the best one to use, especially for beginners, is Zendrop. Like, please, for the love of God. Do not use sites like AliExpress that have not only questionable suppliers, but month long delivery time. Who is gonna wait 30 days, 30 days for their package? Nobody, not me. I've been using Zendrop since the beginning of my dropshipping journey and they are still my first number one choice. High quality products, endless product list, and fast delivery. And the best part is that it's super easy to use. Perfect for beginners. Zendrop is a paid plan, but if you wanna take dropshipping seriously, I'm telling you, this is how you want to go. It's gonna save you from chargebacks, refunds, from unhappy customers, and in the end of it, it's going to save you a lot more money like don't do what i did and just choose any supplier because that led to me having a chargeback on my first ever order like if you watch my two-year drop shipping journey video you know what I'm talking about. And to make it easier for you, Zendrop will be linked down below, so go check it out. And so once you've sourced your product from a supplier, it's now time to link it to your store. Zendrop makes this really easy by linking your products automatically to your online store. But to do this, you need a store. And here's how you do that. So you want to make an online store, but where or how do you do it? These days, it's way too easy. Sites like Shopify, Wix, Squarespace make it so easy to make a store in literal minutes. Now, personally, I've only ever used Shopify to create my online stores, and I've never had a problem using their interface. They have plenty of customization options to make a professional looking online store. And if I'm not mistaken, they actually still have their dollar three month free sale. Literally 90 days to get your store up and running for free. Like that's unmatched. And of course, it'll be linked down below. So before you start making your store, you need to figure out what type of store you're going to create. And there are three types of online stores. One product, niche, and general stores. So one product, if you couldn't guess it, just sells one product. Niche is a product store that has multiple products in it related to a specific niche. And general is just throwing a bunch of products in a store. Like honestly, we're not gonna pay too much attention to that one. I mean, it could definitely work, but you're gonna have a better chance with the other ones. The only two that I want you to focus on is one product and niche, but you're gonna do it like this. You're going to start out selling a one product store, but then slowly transition into a niche store, which kind of looks like this. I started off simply just selling these shark onesies, but after a month of consistently selling these things, I added new products relating to the shark onesies. Like, don't just throw anything in there like don't just throw phone charges or whatever like you want it to relate to the shark onesies or whatever one product you started off with and now it's time to create 
the logo, the face of your brand. So what you wanna do is go to Canva. Canva is a photo editing website that gives you all the tools you need to make a logo. I mean, not only that, like even thumbnails, like the thumbnail you clicked on this video, that was made on Canva. Canva does have a free subscription, but if you want the premium features, like I have it and it's life-changing. So a lot of people take hours, like creating the perfect logo. And I'm not gonna lie, me too, like I do too. But in reality, it's not very important because your logo can be a simple text or image if it wanted to. But what I do recommend is having your logo relate to your product or niche. For example, for my Sharky, we decided to add the store name to it and the shark right next to it, plus the matching colors, which makes it look way more professional. And now it's time for the fun part. It's time to create your store. This is the part where people tend to put the most effort in and that's great, but I don't want you to be taking days creating a store, which if you're a beginner, let's be honest, it's not gonna be that good. Like my first store, it was questionable. And that's why when you're designing your store, I want you to follow these five tips. In the last one, I'll actually show you a personal one that I use that not many people talk about. And like, bro, it got me so many sales during Black Friday. Like you want to use it. Now this isn't a step-by-step -step tutorial to show you how to make a store in detail, but it's just really good advice to follow when you do create it. But it's a good thing there are many videos out there that can show you how to make a professional looking store. But if you want me to make a video about it, comment down below. Three colors, that's all you need. That's all you need to make a store brand. And those colors are white, black, and your choice of store brand. Like I can't stress this enough. If you use a bunch of different colors in your store, nobody's gonna buy from it. Like immediately I'm thinking scam. Keep your colors consistent and matching and this will make it look way more professional and trustworthy. And if you're a one product store, match the color of your brand to the product. It'll look amazing. You want to look like a real brand. So there's really no need to come up with your own thing. Just look at other successful brands and take inspiration from them. For example, my store took inspiration from Gymshark because when I went on Gymshark, it felt luxurious. Like I was getting D high quality and that's how you want your customer to feel. But easier said than done, right? But what I recommend doing is going to the store theme, Debeautify. This was the theme I used for my store and it seriously helped create a more branded feel. But if you wanna save some money, using themes like Refresh and Dawn are also so great choices. You're just gonna need to put a little bit more effort into it. You need to not only make your store look clean, but you need to make it organized. Like all your information about shipping and sizing shouldn't just be a paragraph under an image. Have labeled drop boxes that make it easy for the customer to get information so it'll be easier for them to buy the product. Trust me, they will really appreciate this. And also make sure the information is listed close to below the add to cart button. You don't want your customer struggling to find information. Please don't make a product page without reviews. People need to trust you. And the best way to do that is to show that other people trust you. If they see reviews of people loving your product, the chances of them buying it now is much higher because it's like proof in their eyes. But it's, <laughs> in reality, those are your reviews. Yeah, um, kind of wrong a little bit in a sense, but, uh, but as long as you fulfill the customer's needs and give them high quality products, I don't think that's wrong. I recommend using the Shopify app Looks Reviews. Their interface is really easy and very clean looking, making your reviews look legit. And now it's time to give you my own personal tip that I guarantee will get people to buy. A deal banner. So simple, yet so effective. Putting this on top of your product page gives the customer an impulse to buy because they see a limited good deal. To do this, you actually need to add a section called featured image on top of your product. You then want to go to Canva where you can create a banner for the specific season or holiday or whatever is happening. Whether it be Christmas, New Year's, Hanukkah, like it doesn't matter. Just make it look like there's a good deal and that it won't be there for long. This causes the FOMO effect fear of missing out. All right guys, so at this point, you've come a long way. You've finally made it. It's time to start creating 
content. Content that'll start creating a community around your brand and driving people to your store. But where do we do this? The only platforms I want you to focus on are TikTok and Instagram. This is the power duo that's gonna bring people to your store. So what you're gonna do first is create a TikTok and Instagram account around your brand. And the system is going to work like this. You're going to create your content on TikTok. But before you post your content, you're going to see a download button on the right side. You're going to download your content and save it to your phone. You then post the content on TikTok and at the same time with the downloaded content you have, post on Instagram as well. So in that way, you're covering two platforms at the same time. Double the exposure, double the chances of sales. So in the beginning, I recommend posting two to three times a day every single day on both platforms. Yeah, I know that can be a challenge for some people, but once you start taking off and you start getting consistent views, you could dumb it down to maybe just once a day or maybe even just every other day so that you're not spamming your followers for you page. But let's say you don't have time to be posting multiple times a day. Maybe you have a job or maybe you're in school. Luckily, this video is sponsored by the people that could help you, Viral Ecom Ads. Viral Ecom Ads is a video editing company specifically made for dropshipping. Having made over 50,000 video ads for more than 25,000 plus clients, they're here to save you time and money, making you content that'll actually get you sales. They offer TikTok ads, Facebook video and image ads, and even custom content on TikTok and Facebook made by real creators. With video ads that are proven to convert and get delivered to you in just one, two, three days, there is no way that it can get better than that, but it can. They also have a VIP program that gets you 75% off their editing packages, 30% off their custom content, and one day delivery. You're literally getting content the same day you ordered it. I'm telling you, like it's way too easy these days. And with my code on the screen right here, you're gonna be able to get 15% off your order. Click the link down below to claim your content. And just letting you guys know, I do earn a small commission when you do use my link. So if you do do it, you support me as well. So thank you. I have been using TikTok and Instagram for almost two years now. My jellyfish love watching daddy Shrek with me. Oh, hell. So I have a pretty good picture on how they work. And this is some of the stuff that other people don't tell you. Stuff that I had to learn through my own experience. TikTok and Instagram algorithms are very different. I mean, the best thing that I can compare it to is the story of the rabbit and the turtle like running that race. TikTok is the rabbit and Instagram is the turtle. And that's because TikTok tends to take off fast with views and Instagram a little slower. But what's crazy is most of my success has come from Instagram, but how? I mean, just like the story said, slow and steady wins the race. Just like the story, the turtle ends up winning. Instagram is very similar. You're barely gonna get any views at the start, but then all of a sudden it's going to increase. I don't really know why, but it's literally every single time. Like every drop shipping store I've ever made, Instagram always just wants to pop off in the most random ways. Like TikTok always comes out fast, but Instagram just like, it's like this, just slow, slow, and then just boom. I don't know why, I don't understand. Like I have forgotten how many Instagram reels have gotten over a million plus views and I'm not saying that TikTok can't because it can. I have gotten million plus views on TikTok but sometimes that's all people focus on and they forget about Instagram reels but I'm telling you don't and just letting you know all it takes is just one viral video. One viral video and your business will change completely and you'll see once it happens. So just like the algorithm, TikTok and Instagram have different ways to put links in bios. On Instagram, you could instantly put the link in the bio, but on TikTok, you have to wait until you get a thousand followers. You can get the link in TikTok early if you turn it into a business account, but by doing that, you limit your content because it's going to restrict you from using certain sounds. So you won't be able to use some of the trendy sounds that might be happening during that time. And also there's a whole process of doing that where you have to like go to the IRS website or something like, I don't have time for that. Like, it's easy just to build the personal account and get to a thousand followers as fast as possible. Which it doesn't even have to be a viral video. Even just 50,000 views or 100,000 views, like you're gonna get to a thousand followers pretty fast. And adding a link in bio is a hundred percent needed because without it, it's a lot harder for the viewer to get to your store. And also a little tip when you add stuff to your bio, right above your link, you should add something that says either order now or something to show that the store is right there. Doing this will get more people to your store and increase the chances of sales. 
If you made it this far into the video, congrats, because you're not only committed, but you made it to one of the most important chapters of this whole video, marketing. Because if I'm being honest, you can sell anything. Even those cat pillows that I was making fun of earlier, you can sell those. It's just the way you market the product that makes a big difference. Now, I don't wanna overcomplicate things, even though there is a lot that goes into marketing, but just focus on these three key terms. You need to be posting to the correct audience. For example, when I was selling the shark onesies, we targeted relationships and couples because the product matched that audience. We did this by making content around couples having matching shark onesies or like the boyfriend giving the girlfriend the onesie as a gift. Doing this gives the customer a need for the product. Because if you're not giving the customer a need or a reason to buy this product, they're not gonna buy it. So this should be pretty straightforward, but having quality content is a big factor because the attention span on people these days is probably like two seconds. So if they go on TikTok and they're scrolling and they see this. <sighs> see, I don't really have to do this, but uh, we're just, we're just gonna do it. We're just <laughs> The effort is real. I think this is the only product that I've tried to drop ship that I actually kind of enjoy. On the head. Oh, oh okay. And we're set. Hey bro, can you, uh, can you do me a favor? I'm trying to show them how not to make a TikTok for drop shipping. How to make a TikTok? How not to make a TikTok. Oh, okay. I got this shark onesie. Hey yo, what the f I wear it while watching TV. <laughs> it's so warm and comfortable. Exercise. Oh, hell no. Subscribe to Chino. I'm very sorry you had to go through that. As you can see, the importance of quality. If I couldn't stand to watch that, then I'm sure like you definitely couldn't stand to watch that. And back to the video. If you don't hook the viewer straight away with curious text or high quality content, they're gonna scroll away. So your goal is to have the viewer keep watching your video and having clear, high quality, intriguing content will do that. Hashtags. Hashtags are important. It helps find the correct audience for your product. There's a lot of advice out there about like how many hashtags to use or what type of hashtags to use. And I'm just gonna make it simple. For TikTok, only use four hashtags. And for Instagram, only use five to seven. I just found through my own personal experience that this works for me. Can a video still get no views for doing this? Yes. Can a video still go viral not doing this? Yes, the algorithm is always changing and I'm just giving you the beginner's safe bet. And it's also the strategy that I use personally to this day. Sooner or later, your phone is going to say, congratulations, you just got your first sale. It's exciting, I know, I still get excited for first sales. But if you were like me, now you're thinking, now what? Like I got the first sale, but now what do I do with it? Like how do I, like, how do I fulfill this thing? Then you overthink and then you panic and just, psh, I got you bro. If you use Zendrop, they make it super easy for you. All it takes is a few clicks and it's all taken care of. Or if you don't even wanna think about it at all, they actually have an auto fulfill section. So every time you get an order, they fulfill it for you. Like how can it get, how can it get easier than that? So this is something I didn't do until my latest Shopify store. Like it has changed everything. Track your money. It's boring, yes. Writing numbers on a spreadsheet is boring, but you need to do it because you need to know where your money is going. And I'm telling you, the Shopify analytics, they're not enough. Open a Google spreadsheet and just make it simple. Track the order number, sales, drop shipping costs, Shopify fees, and profit. And then have a total somewhere where you could see the overall. And a lot of you probably aren't going to do this, but I'm telling you, once you get that viral video, once you get orders like every single day coming in, you're gonna be thanking me. So I've given you a bunch of my personal knowledge from my own personal experience of dropshipping. And it just feels weird telling people how to dropship when I was that person watching the video. I was the person with lots of questions, confused, and just didn't even know where to start. But I hope you watching me helps you out and that you find success. And remember that I'm just a regular person that decided they wanted to make it happen. I just kept going, learned from my failures, and didn't give up. If you guys like this video, please leave a like and a comment below, and I'm always just trying to give you guys the best content as possible so i really appreciate you i really want to see where this community goes and i hope you guys enjoy my videos but as always i'll see you guys in the next video see ya